Hi, everybody. Hello there. Jerry. Linda and Gizmo. We're the village's newcomers, and it's time for... Send us your questions. We've got your answers. Jerry and Linda's Mailbag Monday. A reminder to all of you out there, if you want more Linda and Jerry and Gizmo, please follow us on our Facebook page. You can look for us under Villages Newcomers. That's where we can bring you little clips and photos and things that we can't post on YouTube. Find out the story behind pictures like this and this. Let's get on to our shout outs. A big shout out to Dennis and Barb. They're local residents here in Dunedin who took us along with uh, 11 other golf carts on a tour all the way up to the historic area. It took five hours. Maybe you saw the video. We aired it last Thursday. And uh, it was a good time. Uh, we learned a lot about the villages. Yeah, we did. But thank you for being selfless and, uh, and taking that time to... Uh, Take us on that tour. He did a lot of work, a lot of research, and uh, it was, we went to areas we've never been to before, so that was neat. This week we had to do a, a little bit of home maintenance. You know, those things that you hate to do and you hate to spend the money on? We had the drippy faucet in the bathroom. How can I drip, forget that? <laughs> drip, drip, yes. drip. Oh. Luckily, we had Delta faucets, and Delta will replace uh, parts basically forever if i understand it correct we called them and they sent a replacement kit which didn't work and then we called again right and got a second piece and uh, i think we've got it fixed now yes but it's that's aggravating and you don't want water going down the uh, drain no. it's uh, it's expensive mm -hmm. and also yesterday was one year from the date when we replaced the, our air filter in the furnace. The air filter in the furnace. And that's an expense that, you know, when we make a budget, we may forget to put stuff like that in, like that yeah. faucet and like that, I, that air filter. Yeah. But the air filters here are different. Here's a picture. They're four inches thick, 20 by 20, four inches thick. And they're a little bit expensive. That one was $30 that I had to put in. Back home, we used to get the little bitty skinny filters. Oh, yeah. Remember those flimsy? Oh, they were like and you put them in. Like an inch wide. And uh, they were cheap. I mean, you could buy them, you know, a six pack for ten dollars mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah. But a little more expensive, but a little home maintenance. And uh, we appreciated the fact that uh, Ace Hardware had it in stock, and we didn't have to uh, scramble around trying to find that. We have a few pictures to show you today. We always appreciate you folks sending in those pictures. And uh, you'll do send them in to villagesnewcomers at gmail.com. We also heard from a viewer that had kind of a funny email. He wanted to describe his neighborhood to us, and we'll show you some accompanying pictures. This is from Tonto. Tonto. Here you go, Kimosabi. <laughs> Love it says they moved to the Village Marsh Bend in November of 2020, and they live in the West End near the Lowlands Golf Course. On Gustafson Street, there's a street named Fockler Way. It crosses Gustafson three times. As a matter of fact, Fockler Way actually intersects with itself. It makes it difficult to give delivery directions. Is that unusual? Is there an explanation? Did someone have a bad day? <laughs> Somebody named Fockler... Wanted his name out there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We don't, we don't know what the origin is, and we don't know if they had a bad day, but uh, maybe they got tired and said, oh, heck, just keep it the same name all the way through there. But, uh, yeah, we've seen that. We've been on that street. Yeah, we have friends that live there. Yeah, we have friends, good friends, that live right there on Fockler. Thank you, Tonto. Our first question is from Sue and Ron. Do you, this fits right in with, with that last uh, question, little yeah. blurb, do you or did you ever get lost? Do you see other lost people out there in their carts? 
Are we the only lost fools? Oh, I can answer a little bit of that. Yes, you'll get lost. And we should have little signs. I'm lost. Uh, when we first were here, we rented a golf cart or and... Uh, Jerry was in one car. We were going to go pick it up, whatever. Anyway, I got separated from Jerry, returning it, I guess. And uh, I couldn't find him. And he just, he went too far. And my goodness, I had to stop at a rec center. Yes, I did. I got lost. <laughs> Where are you? Why do I get the blame for this? <laughs> I couldn't find him, and I was almost in tears because we were, like, brand new to the villages. And I had to stop at a rec center and say, where am I? And I, used, I didn't have a phone. I couldn't, I had, couldn't call him. So I went in the rec center and used their phone to find out where Jerry was. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell him about the time you took the cart on Powell Road. Oh, well, that's another story. Powell Road with the golf cart. <laughs> yeah, it happens, Sue and Ron. Don't worry about it. If, you know, you'll be fine. You'll have a story to tell one yes, day. Yes, you will. <laughs> Everybody. Jim and Sue Wright, we've lived most of our life in an area where the houses are further apart. Who doesn't yeah. than the villages? <laughs> Can you hear your neighbors much? Is it disruptive? Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you. We have heard yeah. our neighbor rearranging furniture on the on the floor in the kitchen. Remember scooting that table? <laughs> Uh, during we, we, allergy season, we can hear them. Well, coughing. yes, but and I mean, and I probably whatever. But our neighbor <laughs> has a sonic boom of a call. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it is loud, but still, in three years, maybe two occurrences. So not really. No, it's it's not that big a deal. What are you doing there, buddy? Uh, he's not uh, with us today. I did not put treats out, so he's kind of like, okay, if you're not going to give me treats, I'm just going to take We read, We out. read every comment, and, and people said, that dog is, has you trained, so <laughs> we're going to show you. We're training you. <laughs> so he has no treats, but I got my coffee this morning. We're in a new setting. What do you think? Uh, I'm sorry those birds are kind of cut off. You know, it was kind of, uh, yeah. how do you do it? But uh, we're here at our, this is our... What is it? I call it the dining room. Dining room, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a nook, a dining room, whatever. Some of these homes in the villages have three dining areas. Yes. You know, you got one here, you got one over there, you got one over there. We don't need that. And we have a bar that you can sit at. So we're good. <laughs> Nanette and Joe ask, how often does the power go out in the villages? Mm. We live in a NAPA. I guess that's they live in a Pennsylvania and experience power outages once in a while. So we invested in a generator, and we're wondering if it might be something we should bring with us. Well, we have uh, we had a generator, but we left it uh, back north. And uh, we had not used it, or so you needed one, because the power has not been out. When we packed that moving truck, mm -hmm. we filled every nook and cranny. I mean, that's why we left so many cool things behind. We were so excited to get here. We we just left them, and the generator was one of them. We had a big generator. I think it was eighty five hundred watts. Yeah, and it was a nice one. It's a big loud one. though. I'm not well, it's a you know it has a big gas motor on it. It's not one of those little Hondas that just mm, yeah. you know it was a. Yeah. You could operate your central air conditioning and everything with that bad boy, but thankfully we have not needed it down here. Um, and you can get those whole house generator things in here, but that's. That's like $12,000 investment, like crazy money. So, but people, we haven't had the power out. Well, that, that, um, the whole house generator thing, it's more than $12,000. And you have to have a tank that's either going to hold propane or gasoline. I don't think you could bury a tank with gasoline, but you have to have fuel for that uh, generator. And mm -hmm. I did some research and, you know, you might get a day out of it or two days out of it. And then you'll need new, maybe you need new propane or fuel and how do you get it in a mm -hmm. in a situation yeah. like that and so That's we true. we don't and luckily we haven't needed it knocking <laughs> on wood <laughs> simon and kim right we know you normally put your garbage out twice a week in a garbage bag but what if you had a refrigerator delivered and you needed to get rid of the huge corrugated box or if you wanted to throw out an old chair what would you do well, there's two schools of thought with that one. Uh, the corrugated box, I think you could probably put out with your trash. You can kind of bend it up maybe a little bit 
smaller and they they have been so great they take just about everything and because we had a big mound of palm branches they took last week so um, they're great with pickup but for a chair I think you have to call the uh, the sanitation department and then they will schedule a date for you and then they'll have you put it out outside and they'll come back at a special time she did yeah. her homework yeah. <laughs> when we moved here it was very specific you remember Oh, yeah. A clear bag for recyclables, a black bag for trash, mm-hmm. and a brown bag for yard waste. And then after we lived oh. here a year and a half or so, they said, heck with all that. We're going to charge you $3 more and let you lump them all together and just stick them out there. So I've got to say that our trash men, I'm sorry. Sanitation department. Yeah. Our, our uh, yeah, our, what are Sanitation they? Sanitation department, I think. Okay. <laughs> Well, they're great. Yes. And we have put out some monstrous piles, and uh, they've taken them, and we do really appreciate that. And we cardboard boxes, we used to break them down and f- make them flat oh, and yes. then tie we it up. that, too. You know, lately we've just been like, you uh, yeah. know, and they take it. You so. know, that brings up another question about recycling. Some people really still love to recycle. So I don't even know if that goes on, if there's a center somewhere. That's something I have not researched. It's said that they do recycle, but they, evidently they have new ways of separating it after they get it. So let's hope that's the case. John writes, we have a gas stove in our villa and love it. Do most of the villagers have an option to have a gas stove? Well, I called on this, and I don't think there's like an option. Uh, but there are villages up north in the Spanish Springs area. They were uh, they first started out with gas, so they do have gas c- c- hookup, and nothing in the middle section. But in the south, the new section toward uh, uh, south of 44, um, most of those new homes are gas. But the, uh, is it uh, Chitty Chatty? And Bradford were left out, so no, they can't get it. Now, there are people that would like to change their home, their electric stove, to a gas stove. A neighbor of ours had had did this, and um, they had to get a little propane or a tank out in the yard, and they had to dig it up and then put the line, had to get a permit and the whole business. So you can get gas if you want it. Right, they buried a tank, and mm-hmm. I don't know how many gallons it was. It might have been 100 gallons or so, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, they put it in the ground, but they had to go through all the permitting process and yeah. everything. And, and you'll see a little cap out in the front yard, so you can go by and see certain homes. And when we're on bike rides, I'll say, oh, they've got gas. <laughs> we have a question to the, uh, in our pile somewhere <laughs> that someone said they, they bought a new house, and they discovered there's no electric hookup for the dryer. It's a gas dryer hookup. So some of the homes will be plumbed for gas for your dryer, but not electric, evidently. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that would be a shock, wouldn't that it? would be. Scott writes, just wondering how they collect all the golf balls that go into the lake or on the land or on the islands. We didn't see a boat with a safety cage. They have this automatic alligator that goes out, grabs them, and then spits, They've them, trained and spits the gators. them back out. <laughs> Scott, that's a good question. We happened to see them collecting before. Yeah. And they have uh, people, first of all, these balls float. Yes. They all float. They're called floaters. They're floaters. <laughs> and the wind always blows them to the bank yeah. eventually. So they go along the banks and pick them up. Of course, they have to go out to the island and rake those balls up. And, we uh, haven't seen that. We need to make we have a, not a seen visit it. to do, watch them do that. I don't know what you mean by safety cage, though, Scott. Uh, what do you think you mean? Oh, Oh, I know what you mean. You're talking about the guy that we always aim at on the driving range. The guy that's driving out there yes, in the little the tractor and, and he's got a cage around it. Yeah. And, you know, if you're a golfer, you know you've aimed at that guy, right? We got a lot of questions today. We're, we're trying to hustle. Oh, yeah. We better hustle. We got a lot. Anissa. You like that name, don't you? I do, but I'm not. I know it's Anissa. 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 I think it's Anissa. It's a beautiful name. That's why I said Anissa. (laughs) I'm a few years off from retiring, but I was wondering if adult children can move with me. Can they still enjoy all the facilities and clubs? And that is a yes. Your adult children can live with you. And if they're over, what, 19, and they can enjoy all the amenities that we do, they'll get a special card. But Anissa, I mean, let's get real. They're adults. Why do you want them to move with you? (laughs) Huh? Just kidding. A little bit. 
Daniel and Rebecca. And we have the same sort of question from Steve in Massachusetts. Daniel and Rebecca, just to be fair to you, you're from Troy, Michigan. As a future builder, are solar panels allowed in the villages? Okay, and the question from Steve, if power were to go out in the villages, would you be allowed to set up portable solar panels? I called on it. There you go. Solar panels are allowed on your roof. If you have another situation in mind, you have to go through the Architectural Review Committee. You know, you said portable during a hurricane uh, or power, big power outage. If they're portable and you can run out there and set them up and you can bring them in when it's over, I don't know anybody during a hurricane or a power outage that's going to send out a crew to look for people that are using uh, <laughs> portable power in their yard. When they blow away, they're portable. In, in a well, I don't think you put them out during the hurricane. Yeah. Probably afterwards, after the aftermath. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. When the power so you off. can have solar panels. Sue and Jim DeCastro from Citrus Grove. That's right here. That's oh. a, new, a new neighborhood. He's got his head. When socializing, can one avoid discussing politics? We're going down there to enjoy retirement and have a good time. We don't want the political climate to adversely affect that. You don't have to discuss mm -mm. politics if you don't want to any more than you have to discuss that rash that you have. I mean, <laughs> you talk about what you want to talk about. I mean, we don't, we go to gatherings all the time. Have you ever heard politics brought up? Nope. Because we all are not going to agree on everything. No. And so, so we yeah, just don't want to bring up. That's that. one thing that people assume that everyone down here is mm -hmm. really got strong opinions and will force them on you. That's not true at all. No. Nope. You'll be all right. Brian and Chrissy write, do Jerry and Linda use recycled golf balls when playing golf? Can you buy them at the courses? The pro shop you're playing at? We love golfing, but new balls can get really expensive. Oh, hey, we find them on the course all the yeah, time, Yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> if you knock your ball into the weeds, you go in, look for your ball, you come out with two other balls. Yeah, we do. It's you, fun. You, you'll be, <laughs> That's really fun. You'll oh, be all right. Easter egg, I found one. <laughs> and, and, you know, people are so afraid. And they say, oh, don't go in there. They're snakes. Uh, well, there are. I mean, I have, I have, have you favorite. ever seen a snake on the golf course? Yes. We were golfing. The girls were golfing. And we hit one right in the bushes. And there was a snake there. Did you see it? No, but Sue came running out. And I know it. I believed her. <laughs> she saw a snake. <laughs> You're not supposed to go in there, Jerry. All right. He goes in there. Well, first of all, most snakes are harmless, and they don't deserve the bad rap that they get. Yeah, well, you need to take your uh, ball finder and scrape it out, or your golf thing. You just don't go in there and start with your hands. But we do use uh, recycled balls if they're good. Yeah. You know, sure. they say if a ball sits in the water yeah. for more than just a few hours, that it actually does lose some of its uh, buoyant uh, bounce. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff, and uh, <laughs> uh, so we we do use recycled balls, but. I just want to give a shout out to Ray. Ray, I've already thanked you for this, but one day we received brand new Titleist Pro V1s from a viewer. Ray, thank you so Ray, much. Ray, we love you. How do you make that? I'm scared to use them, Ray. I'm, I'm afraid to use them. They're so fine. They're the finest golf balls Aww. I've ever had. And I just know I'm going to lose them, but uh, thank you for that. Karen and Luis, L-U-I-S. Luis? Luis. No, I think it's Luis. What do you think? Tell us what. Tell us who's right, Karen and Luis. With all the new construction going up in the villages, will there be more town squares built? I put our trusty reporter on this one. Well, yes, there are more town squares coming, but this one, uh, well, for sure we know is Sawgrass Grove. So you're, the next one is Sawgrass. So and it'll be they'll have, they'll have a pub there. They'll have entertainment. They're gonna have a market there. It's gonna be really lovely. So they're all coming. You're gonna get your entertainment. Yeah, we, we drove by there. We showed you in a recent video. Looking forward to it. Sharon writes, can people that live outside the villages join the championship courses? I have read it's getting very difficult to get tea times, and I'm hoping that the courses are open only to villagers. How's that work? Oh. Sharon, I'm gonna bounce back to that other question because I didn't fully answer it, did I, about the golf balls? They wanted to know if you can buy them at the pro shops. Yes, you can. They do so. They have full pro shops. 
just like any country club, and you can buy balls. So when she means recycled, does she mean ones that the people have found or brand new balls in a box that have been uh, refurbished well, but or she, but whatever? But she asks if you can get balls at the golf courses, and you can. Mm -hmm. you can. You can buy golf, but not at the executives. The executives are bare bones. Right. You know, you have a starter shack right. with nothing. You might be able to get a drink in some of them. Yes. But uh, no, you can no purchases. Probably as far not. as joining the championship courses, the answer to that is no. You can buy a priority membership, which is going to give you preference on tee times and a slightly smaller green fee, but it won't. Uh, those memberships don't keep anybody out. The public can come and play golf, and they can rent carts and play golf. So villagers with their own cart can come and pay a trail fee and use their own cart and pay a green fee. But people off the street can come in and play as well, as long as they have that, that collared shirt on yeah. at the country clubs. <laughs> Brian writes, are there any indoor air conditioned walking areas in or near the villages? And that is I know. Um, you can go to the um, M MVP athletic place and do all the workout equipment. And there are fitness clubs in some of the rec centers, about four or five of them, I think. But there's no really walking area. So that any place if you want to go walking, you'll have to go to a mall. And the closest mall would be uh, Leesburg Mall. You can walk there or you can go all the way to Ocala. So, but I don't know if I don't want And to there are probably some, uh, some spots where you can, but we just don't know no of them. No indoor. Gary writes, Lori and I were down for our lifestyle visit back in June. At the time, at that time, the golf cart app did not include the southern part of the villages, St. Catharines, Citrus Grove, etc. Just wondering if the villages has updated the app. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know the answer to that one. Uh, you can call and find out. Um, just call the sales center and see. But we have found a good way to get around is use Google Maps. Mm and put bicycle down, select right. instead of car or walking, select bicycle, and that will take you to a lot of places. But still, is, is the new area on Google Maps yet? Right. I, I don't know. Just recently, I'll say within a few months ago, I looked at our home on Google Maps, and it was a giant sand field. Uh -huh. So this house is almost six years old, mm. and it's not listed on uh, Google Maps. But it is on all the uh, uh, directional apps, the GPS apps that we use. Gil and Sheila, is there a good website for open positions near the villages or many opportunities available for work in the villages? And uh, yes, you can find job uh, jobs here in the villages and you, you need to go to districtgov.org uh, and down at the bottom you'll look for careers. And they'll give you, they'll have all the job listings. So that's really nice. Or the villages, uh, the villages website. You'll also find opportunities there. So you can find a job in the villages, which is a great thing. Let's talk about the jobs really quick. We, we were discussing this. Think about it. Dog groomers, maid service, plumbers, electricians, handymen, yeah. painters, Painters. You name it. This place, hairdressers. Yeah. I mean, there yeah. are tons and tons of jobs. Some of the restaurants have even been closing yes. because they can't get enough workers. Yes. But there are plenty of jobs. We took that ride down through the southern section. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. If, if you're a laborer or a construction worker, you will not go without work here. You can find, I'm sure you can find a job. Mm -hmm. Mark writes that he lives in the Chicago area and he has a nice woodworking shop. He likes to woodwork and needs space for gluing. Do the woodworking clubs accommodate that in the wood shop? By the way, I'm a member of the wood shop. There are two wood shops now, one on Rolling Acres, the other one on Buena Vista. It's not quite open yet. It's ready. It's 100% ready. In fact, we've been there. We've filmed a show there. We have not aired it yet because we're kind of waiting toward the grand opening part of that to, uh, to put it on. What a shop. It has everything you could ever want. I had a magnificent shop. I was patting myself on the back, back yeah. in India. It's a great wood shop. They blew me away. They have so much more. It's first rate. Oh, what a neat thing. It is neat. <laughs> and yes, you can glue up your work and leave it overnight and go back and work on it after it, after it sets up. 
<laughs> so they, like they've, they've thought of everything there. And what a dust collection system. It is wow. a, a beautiful, be. clean mm -hmm. place. They have strict rules. <clears throat> and you have to volunteer to be a member of the wood shop. You have to volunteer at least four times a year to come in and take a shift uh, to be a monitor or or hand out tools in the tool crib, but it is fantastic. And those it's run 100% by volunteers. Oh wow! Everybody that works there, it's open eight to four every day, and everybody working there is a vol unpaid volunteer. That's what amazes me about the villages. There's so many volunteers here in every capacity, everywhere. It's it's neat. It's a wonderful thing. It, it's a labor of love for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And when you do come and you take a tour and you see this wood shop, you are going to want to join. There's a waiting list right now. There are over 1,200 people in the wood shop club, in the wow. you know, woodworking club. Wow. A lot of talented people. Yeah. And you'll find they don't all use the... the uh, wood shop on the same day oh, no. or I mean it wouldn't be doable Ed and Wheezy are there outdoor movies in the villages like car or golf car drive-ins what a neat thing that would be but no there are no drive-ins now during COVID uh, the big shutdown time there were some uh, places where you could go to see movies the softball field had some where you can take your cart and go and see the movie outside they advertise what movie was coming out and they did that also at the polo fields for music uh, where you can bring your golf cart and sit out and, and uh, watch listen to music but as far as uh, in the villages no no outdoor movies you'll have to go to Ocala to the drive-in there wouldn't the bugs eat you alive That's if you were out in your think. golf cart at a movie? I would think so. You know, maybe you could have it all zipped up all around you, you know, and have it do it, but uh, it wouldn't be as fun. be great, though, if, if you can get yeah. past the bug thing to have a cooler and go sit yeah. in your golf cart and yeah. watch a movie. Nice. This is just going to be our last question today. Aww. What are your do not miss activities for those of us considering the lifestyle? We're not doing the formal lifestyle visit. We're renting through an Airbnb. We don't work for the villages. You're going to miss out on some things if you're not doing a true lifestyle visit mm -hmm. because they give you some extras and they'll give you a dependable golf cart. We have seen that some of the people that come on their own, that's what they miss out on. They don't get a good golf cart mm -hmm. or maybe no golf cart at all. If you come here without a golf cart, you are robbing yourself of one of the greatest things about mm -hmm. the villages. Yeah. So make sure you get a good golf cart when you come and, um, and explore, explore, mm -hmm. explore, explore. That's the number one thing. Get out on that cart yeah. and look through the neighborhoods. Go to all the town squares. Yeah. Just ride and ride and ride. And that's the fun. Mm -hmm. And Kristen and Eddie from Wisconsin... If you do that, you're probably going to get hooked like everybody else. <laughs> it gonna, is. You're going to have a great time. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Gizmo, wake up. <laughs> wake up Are you ready buddy. for your segment? Wake up. He works hard filming these for you, and I think he's ready. Let's take a look and see what he has to say this week. Mom and Dad let me take this question all by myself. We got a letter that said, we're new residents of a designer home in Citrus Grove, and we have two Yorkies. <laughs> aren't they cute? I don't not much for long-haired dogs, but those are two cuties. They said they're preparing to move in, and they want to know how you protect Gizmo from animals or getting out. Do you have a physical, electronic, or sonic fence? Well, we don't have any fences of any kind, invisible or otherwise. But mom takes me out. She puts the harness on me and hooks up the leash and she walks right along and puts a lot of pressure on me to do my business right in front of her there. But dad, he just kind of opens the door and says, go on, go on out. And I go out and do my thing. I kind of prefer that because it's, you know, it's a lot easier to go when somebody's not watching, but he's not far away. Nope, we don't have any fences. Hey, here's one. Do you know what is green and fuzzy? And if it fell out of a tree, it could kill you. It's a pool table. <laughs> a pool table in a tree. I don't know. <laughs>
You are a funny guy. <laughs> That's going to do it for this week's edition of... Bag Monday. We are so glad that you could come along with us today. We hope you enjoyed it. We've enjoyed bringing it to you. Please press that like and subscribe button. Until next time. See you when you get here. <laughs>